Hello there. Welcome to Design Guru. Today I'm going to explain how to use save management, when to use save management, and what should steps we have to follow for save management. So, further than ado, let's get started. Right now, I'm in Katia V5. For explain save management. First, I need to open one file. For that, I'm going to file and open. Here, this is a list of I have created parts and products. For this, I have created one assembly means product, and I'm going to open this. So I have selected this is a Katia product and open. Wait a while because it is a very big file and having a so many parts okay so it's just open this is a steam engine and it contains so many parts you can see in model tree as you can see it contain more than 60 parts so first let me tell you where is the save management option for that i am going to file and here you will find save management option along with save and savage you already know save and savage so i am going to explain what is the save management for that i am going to click it one pop up window will arrive here you will find five columns name is state name location action and access here first see the status bar means state see that open and all file has the name and status as a open because we just open it it's give me the state of the current product so the first is our product means i have opened this final assembly of steam engine so it is a product so it is show me the full name as well as the extension the third thing is location location means where it saved or saved the action tape right now it is a empty because we haven't take any action on it the next thing is access access means the administration give us what type of access right now it's read and write so we can do overwrite or we can open that okay so this is a brief view now i'm going to cancel this first in a real world uses we are working with product means assembly in that we have many parts as you can see so for that if we opened any of this and want to edit this after create an assembly so for that we have to just double click on it so that will highlight and show me over here as well as if i want to select this edge and want to edit this means i want to change the dimension or we can say radius of fillet so i'm going to double click it that will pop up with fillet so here i have given the 5 mm so i'm going to give it 4 or 3 we can say or select okay right now this is already changed you can see it is decreased by 2 mm but actually it is changed in both side both side means in a, its child and parents here the parent means our part the part is our stand means our is a parent and here we have is child so for that as you can see we changed the stand now i'm 
again go into file and save management for show you what changes we made now you can see and say cat product tower is status as a modify means we just modify it or we change its value this is a product as well as we change its child and parent so as you select state all modified parts will come on a top so along with this assembly we also changed stand which is a parent so it will show also as a modified now you can see it all in get dot part and both this right now okay so i am just explain what is open and modify now i am go to file and create new and select as a part because this is you know created in part select part and okay i give any name like a new part and okay i just created for show you the another one state i just minimize this again maximize this now i'm going to file and save management now you can see one another state means new the part which is just we have created new part name is the which is cat dot part and the state is new means we just created it doesn't saved or it didn't anywhere so now you can see this location is empty because we haven't saved it yet so you can see in a save management all the detail about what are going on with all product or we can say all part so also you will find the number of unsaved file here the three unsaved files left means new we have created which file new and the both part and as well as product now i'm also go to cancel this again i will select this right click this and go to this and open in new window because i want make changes in this i will zoom in now i will double click on this because i want to make a changes in this now for a time i want this size which is a 12 i want it 15 so i am create giving a 15 and enter now the length of the screw or fastener is increased by 3 mm i am going to select okay and now i minimize this so you as you can see the modification of bolt or fastener is showing here like this if we made uh, more than the 20 or 30 changes in this assembly we cannot manage everything the where file is saved or not did we save it where we saved it or what is the condition of our part so for that we use file management now again i am going to save management now as you can see now we have new file modify file which is 3 with this first is assembly second we change the radius of this so the stand and third is the m6 bolt and we have also created one new file All right now as you selected assembly you will find only one option means save as well as save 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 and save in this case new you only find the save as because we haven't saved yet it anywhere now as you can select this and select save means it will save where 
it located remember where it located previously as you selected this or this because it has already a location where it saved again i will select this as you say select this there is only option of save as because we haven't give any direction or location as i select save it will show me your folder of these now i will create new folder and save i select save new because this is a new part select this double click on this and select save as you can see what action now action tab is enabled or we can see the save means as we i selected okay it will save it in the direction or we can say location on this you can see where it is saved the location is changed because we change the location again as we selected this and select save it will save at the default directory okay or direct default location as select save it save this or and along with that you can see save auto save auto because it is connected with both of this the assembly is always connected with it parts means ill children now as i selected okay it will save everything you can see over here now i have explained one file management now again i will go to save management sometime what happened you have created all file but as you can see our one part is belong from another location or we call from another location so if right now we just created one part and have the another location or different location if we have different location from like a 10 or 15 parts we don't uh, we cannot uh, select everyone and select and saved each other on other path for that we have propagate directory name is propagate directory for using that first i have to select this and go to save as then i will create new folder where i want to save all the part along with the different directory as name is save as okay I double click it and save you can see save over now i give any pattern name because we need a pattern name i still apply then as i select apply and the given a pattern name and here the pattern name is not mandatory you can give any pattern name you wanted but it will not repeat it again and again so as you select a save action and given the pattern name the propagate directory is enabled now as you select a propagate directory the all parts which is over here are saved at the one place now as i select okay the all parts which is connected or assembled with this will save in the another directory now i'm going to open save as you will see in save as here you will find all the our part and products over here because we give the propagation of this with our part so for that you will see this is very easy when you are working with assembly i hope you will find this video very helpful and you understand what is a save management and how to use it for more video like this please subscribe my channel if you have any query comment in comment section i will see in my next video till then do designing bye bye